Hi everyone and welcome to a 360 episode of Malta Walkthroughs. In this video, you are in full control of the video's perspective in order to immerse yourself in the location. Today we're in the capital city of Malta, Valletta. We are actually at the very entrance where on one side you can see the Triton Fountain, Valletta's landmark, as well as the city gate opposite to it. In this video, we will take you through various great landmarks in Valletta, so sit back, relax and enjoy this video. Here we are now at the very entrance of Valletta. As soon as you enter the city, you are greeted by the recently built parliament, which is the distinctive building you can see, with various shops and arcades on the other side. If one ventures into the road, one will find himself in the center of Valletta. I recommend to watch the walkthrough video in this channel for a detailed walkthrough. Now we are in the upper Baraka Gardens. A beautiful quiet garden with trees, benches, a small fountain and an unbelievable view which we'll see in just a second. This garden overlooks the Grand Harbour area and is connected with an elevator which takes you directly to the waterfront, more on that later. Here we are, in the best spot of Valletta. From this view, you can see the Valletta Harbour, as well as the three cities across the sea, which played a big role in the Great Siege of Malta in 1565. Take a moment to enjoy this view, it's truly breathtaking. We are now at the Obas de Castille Square, also known as the Office of the Prime Minister. Located right adjacent to the upper Baraka Gardens we recently visited, this is another nice landmark of Valletta. Please appreciate the detail in the building of the Prime Minister's office. This next landmark takes us near the Royal Opera House. Built in 1866, this iconic landmark was unfortunately directly hit during the Second World War and was never rebuilt. The statue of the gentleman you can see, is La Valette, a French nobleman and grandmaster who commanded the resistance of the Great Siege against the Ottomans in 1565. This city took the name from La Valette. The last place in today's video takes us to the Valletta waterfront. It is easily accessible from the elevator situated in the upper Baraka garden featured before. This area is full of restaurants and one can enjoy the beautiful sea views while dining here. That takes us to the end of this video. If you liked this video and would like to see more of this, please like, subscribe and comment to tell us what would you like to see in the next video. Until next time, take care.